Hello YouTube, Mansion fans and enthusiastic gun dudes out there. My video on the duplet has got a lot of positive reviews and a lot of views and uh, thank you for that. And a lot of you guys actually asked me to make a tutorial on how to build one, which I will. Now this gonna, that tutorial is going to be split into 12 pieces, so there will be 12 videos on how to make each individual part. However, before that, it's going to be two videos as an introduction on what tools you need to use and the top 10 top uh, tips that you have to use in order to make it. So, in this video I'm going to give you a uh, walk around on my workshop, the tools that I use. The next video is going to be the tips. So without wasting your time any longer, let's get cracking. The most important thing I have and the most important skill you need is to be able to weld. Now I don't have make or any fancy equipment, I have a basic stick welder. So as you can see, yeah, it's as simple as it can get. By the way, I'm not paid to advertise HBM, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. Whatever you use is whatever you use. I paid 100 euro for this, it's pretty good, and I can weld anything anywhere between 2 millimeter and 3 millimeter uh, electrodes. So it's pretty good. We also have an auto darkening helmet, which is very useful, so you don't go blind when you weld. And we have 1613 most bulletproof electrodes, 2.5 and 2 millimeter, and I keep them in these. So that's basically my basic, very cheap welding kit. Everything goes in a bag for easy transportation. If you have a MIG, life is easy, but you could do with that as well. Moving on, we have a drill. Doesn't have to be super fancy. I think I paid about 75 euro for it. You will need a good batch in it, so this allows you to work longer periods of time. Preferably, if it's good, it can give you a little bit more torque, so it's actually easier to drill. But if you're stuck, any drill will do. You will need an angle grinder, preferably the one that gets, uh, gets powered by the mains, because the ones on the battery, they do tend to run out of juice relatively quickly, even with a good battery. Uh, and this one, you can work almost all day long. Uh, yeah. I have the cover off, makes my life very easy, but you do have to wear glasses because otherwise you get a lot of crap into your eyes. You will need also a Dremel for fine little stuff, for example on the Tikai, when I have the handle grip, you can make these little indentations, so you can put your fingers in there, allows a little bit more comfortable grip. And for wood, you can use a jigsaw to cut the, the wood into the into the correct shape. Now you don't have to use this, you can actually also drill the holes and then just cut it. I'll show you a cheaper way, but this just saves time, so I have it. Moving on, we have for uh, more precision tools, we have a drill and top set. You're going to need this because when you're going to drill into metal, you also want to make a thread. This uh, allows you to make a more compact design. We have the set where basically for every top, you have the correct drill and so it's very easy. So if you have one M4 uh, top, you have a 3.3 millimeter drill ready for you there. Of course, if you do break them, because sometimes you will, you can use the next best thing. So you can get your set, uh, yourself a set of just regular drill bits. They'll, they'll do the job. And lastly, I use this very rarely, but you will like to use it. You also get some dies, so you can actually extend the thread on a bolt if you need to do that. This is useful for the duplet on the back bar, and I'll show you where. On the table here, you see on this shelf I have some sanding discs, and I also have some angle grinder discs as consumables for the angle grinder. About the table itself, it's made from nine pallets that they're going to show away in work. It's, uh, it was basically rubbish and it does fit the team of Metro because if you look at the workbenches in Exodus they look similar to this. This is just what I could make with what I had. So in order to strengthen the, this design I had to put some metal here so when I weld I can just put the metal on top of this and it, it welds a lot easier. If I really need to hammer something here I can use this thick piece of metal because it's very thick and it's sturdy. And if I need to bend or do some work, I have a small little voice. It's not, you know, it's small, but it does the job. It's good enough. A little bit about the table. You, you can see that there's actually two 
uh, pallets upright. And this makes the feet. But in between these ones, in between the feet, you have these pockets. So, for example, I use one of the pockets for holding pipe, the other one for treaded bars, this one for some other steel, and stuff like that. So we have these four little trays, which I also made from, from John. But this just holds bolts and random nuts that I took when I disassembled, because everything I made is from junk. When I disassemble it, some parts I, I scrap, some parts I keep for myself. So these bolts, small stuff, they're very useful for the builds, and it does fit the team. Uh, on this side, we have scrap metal. So this is the metal that I have to put, weld, sand, and make it into shape. Yeah? I mean, for example. See the spring? This is the first attempt of bending and making a custom made spring for the shambler, which is in the works as well. You see? I just ran out of time to complete it. Uh, about the hand tools, I have this little tool set. We have basic hand tools, basically. Some screwdrivers, a uh, couple, uh, couple of sets of Allen keys. We have vice grips, they're very useful for holding stuff together when you weld. A pair of uh, uh, snips, some, uh, some knives, stuff like that. Basically, ba basic hand tools. It doesn't have to be super fancy. We have water pump uh, pliers, of course, very useful, and adjustable wrenches. Here we have some files. You don't need them all. In fact, you can actually get one of each, like, oh, like maybe this or one of these ones. I just have the set because I bought them like that, and uh, why not, the more the better. But on the last one we have a big hammer, so you can actually hammer it uh, in. We have some precision tools, which is a 90 degree and a triangle ruler. Uh, yeah, a couple of chisels, if you don't have the Dremel, you're going to have to use the chisels to cut your stuff, well, cut the wood into, into place. And that's basically it. So, yeah, nothing fancy, nothing special. Very simple. Lastly, about safety, you will need this. This is just hold clothing, by the way. The reason is because when you're going to cut with the angle grinder, a lot of the sparks will go on your right side. And you'll, if you can see here, I already began destroying my trousers. But if you keep going, if you keep doing that, you'll destroy them, you'll burn a hole in them. So you use this to take the main damage of it. Also, when you're going to cut, it's quite noisy, and to prevent you from hearing damage, just use an old pair of headphones. These ones, they say they have noise cancellation, but they're all broken. As long as it blocks the, the, the most of the sound, you're good enough. We have a small little mask, because uh, some of the metal that I use, because it's from other parts of the machinery, those are paint in it, so when you sand it, you get a lot of these paint particles, and they do tend to, well, They'll, they'll damage your lungs, so be careful. But we have some glasses as well to prevent stuff flying into your eyes. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So you can see it's very basic. The, the tool set, the workbench, nothing fancy. A lot of the guys on YouTube, they have very nice workshops. I don't. I have to make this, so I have to do what I have. Uh, one final point about this, please. With the information I'm gonna gonna show you in the next videos, don't uh, use that information to harm people or do anything stupid. I'm not actually responsible for that. Uh, I'm purely making this either for cosplay or the main reasons why I'm doing this is because I tend to work a lot with wood and metal, and as a result, I become a better craftsman. So it's very it's very nice and useful skills, especially these days, because most people don't work with their hands. So it's uh, it's good to have it, and also. In order to turn junk into something more, you really need to think outside the box. And this develops your creativity, so it's, a, it's an exercise for the mind. Plus, I'm also a fan of the game. But yeah, as long as these reasons align with yours, no problem. But if you're going to do something stupid, please, you know, you can leave the channel. I don't have a problem with that either. So uh, yeah, this is the first video. There will be another one with the... Top ten, uh, top 10 tips on how to use every single tool and little tricks and then of course I'll make the 12 videos on how to make the duplet with the quad part modification and until then I'll see you next time